Okay, guys, what you're looking at here is a condenser slash blower motor for a camper. Now, normally I don't do campers, but this is for a family member. Uh, and she's a realtor, and she gives me a lot of work. I know how to work on camper air conditioners. Maybe I should advertise it because a lot of them don't. But, again, normally it's something I don't do. But this time of the year, I haven't gotten swamped over yet. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's picking up. But again, she's family and she gets me a lot of work. So, I'm waiting on the new one to come in. So we got that off. This, this is 115 volt because it's a camper. And you can see this is the condenser side and this is the blower motor side. The windings are all burnt. All right, I'm gonna set this off to the side over here. If you take a look in here, I don't know how good y'all can see that, but those windings are burnt. And this thing is bound up. I mean, look, it's, I can barely spin it. Look, watch. I can spin it a little better, but it's, it's just completely bound up. So now we're going to take the blower wheel off. Ooh, it looks like one of the blades is broken on that blower wheel. try to feed it through there so I could turn it fast uh, more but it's let's see if we can get this thing off of here there we go now let's see if this one's gonna come off as easy as the condenser fan came off it's plastic oh there we go I got it there we are so it's double shafted as you can see So that was easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought these were going to fight me a little bit more than that. There we 
we go. Okay, I got that back on. I'll set that out the way. Set that blower wheel out the way. Now I have to get the motor off of this plate. Yep, right there. One there, one there, one there. So it's got four 11.30 seconds. I've had this 11.30 second nut driver by Malco for years for stuff like this. I'll take it off, put the new one on, and then I'll tape all this back up. I'm at my house with this because we had to order this motor from the RV place. No regular AC supply house had it. Uh, so it had to get ordered from the RV parts department and it's not going to be here until tomorrow. I actually took this off of the camper yesterday and I let the shaft, I sanded the shafts down and let them soak in some PB blaster oil overnight. That one there, ooh, I, maybe I should spray that one. This one here wants to be a booger. Okay, got that one. We got one more down here at the bottom. And she should come off. They stuck it. Nope, there it is. Okay. There, it there we are. There's our plate. And here's our motor. It's a Fasco 115 volt, third horsepower, two speed. RPM is 1675 slash 1080. So this is the condenser shaft and this is the blower shaft. And this is a mounting bracket. It sits in the camper like so. And uh, this bracket mounts to the camper. So I'm going to unhook that as well. all these parts off to the side and then what I'll do is once I get the new motor I'll bring it back over here to the house there's the plate and I'll put it all back together and then I will go back to the job site uh, Or wherever the camper is going to be. The camper is actually going to be in a different location than it was when I took this off. I will go to the camper site. Sometime tomorrow I have an air handler to install. Tomorrow. So after I get done with the air handler, I will, uh, I will uh, go put this back on the camper. All right, I'll take you guys for a walk with me to my truck while I put my tool bag up. There's my truck parked on the curb. You can see that gigantic five-ton air handler behind my truck. That's for tomorrow morning. Here. 
that's where I'll keep it. There's a big air handler and a drain pan. RH1T6021. Ream air handler for tomorrow morning. All right, guys. I'll try to get some footage uh, of uh, of me putting that motor and stuff back together. I got to put these back in my other bag. I have a second tool bag that I use for change outs. I have the little tote here got the amp probe leak detector the field piece solder weld blanket the htn is right here there's my other tool bag that's a milwaukee that's my change out bag and these allen wrenches stay in there and then here's my quick kit i have a quick kit in there all right guys so there's a small piece of my truck i'll give you guys the official tour one day but for right now that's all you guys get all right, I'll see if I can get some footage tomorrow of putting that motor back on that camper. Thanks for watching, y'all.